At the end of the day, I'm here to help entrepreneurs design brands that guide them to seven-figure success. And so when I was going through my brand strategy with one of my coaches, he posed the question of why are you doing what you're doing? And I said, because when I was growing up, I was a really insecure kid. I got bullied. I would go to school with, with, with rings around my collar, filthy dirty because my mother didn't do the laundry. And I would get picked on and called, you know, dirt bag and all of these nasty things that happen when you're in, you're in grade school. And so I grew up with such a complex that I needed to have all the fancy stuff. I had a, a, a I still do uh, an uncle who's very successful in construction in New Jersey. And I saw him and he's like lifestyles that are rich and famous. And I saw my father who was a shop steward at UPS for 33 years. He, he, he was a mechanic and he never cared about what he looked like. And we never had fancy stuff and we just had the bare minimum. So I struggled trying to find myself in my identity because I wanted to be like Uncle Joe, but I didn't have the means. And I would push and, and I remember, <laughs> there's so many stories I could go. I'm, I'll, I'll save them, I'll save them for later. But I grew up extremely insecure. And it's no surprise that I am doing what I'm doing today to help businesses and brands build confidence within so that they can sell their products and services with the authority, the credibility, the credibility and the, the, the confidence. Because when you're, when you're running on a full tank of confidence, there's nothing you can't do in this world. There really isn't. So my goal, my mission, my, my work, my life's work is to help people take their stories, create a brand around them, and go out there and help people get through the issues and challenges that they're trying to get through and doing it in a premium way. Because the one thing that elevated my success and really helped me find my time and the quality of life was focusing in on charging more for my services because I am now providing a higher value in what it is that I do. It wasn't until I found what that was that I was a commodity, like every other brand identity designer out there. And I was a Fiverr designer for 90 days. And I know what it's like to get paid $5 and work on a project for six hours. And I said, where was my confidence back then? Because if I had the confidence I had now, I wouldn't even have considered that as an option. But I was so insecure. I was scared to tell everybody that I was failing. And I just kept failing. It wasn't until I turned around, looked at myself and looked within and said, Henry, if you don't make this change, you're never going to get ahead and you will stay here. And it's funny because there's a lot of people that like David was talking about before, they don't take imperfect action. They, they, they either clam up or they freeze up or they just get scared or they feel like they can't, can't, can't. And then next thing you know, you look down at your watch and you look at the date and you're 88 years old. And then you say to yourself, Shit, where'd the time go? But now it's too late. You don't have the health you had. Maybe you don't have the looks that you had. Maybe you don't have the, the resources that you once had. I share this with you because the story that I just told about how I became who I am today due to the insecurities that I faced as a kid, it's my life's work to help people understand that you can get over that. And I heard Tony Rodriguez say this the other day, and I want to share it with everybody. He said, your past is simply a bruise. 
It's not a tattoo. So it's not permanent. And I said, I just shook that insecurity off. I faced those skeletons in the closet. I realized that that was not me anymore. And I'm confident and comfortable with who I am. And I moved forward. And I focused in it on my strengths, not my weaknesses. And I pushed and I pushed and I pushed. And the more I helped people, the more the universe returned the favor. I don't know what that is, but that's how the world works. So I encourage all of you guys to figure out why you're doing what you're doing and the story behind it so that you can share it just like I shared it with the world today. That's what people are going to connect to. And you may have an inferior product right now due to your competitors, but people are going to pick you because you made them feel something that the other competitor didn't because of the story you told. That's the power of branding. And if you can do this consistently through different platforms. Maybe it's Clubhouse. Maybe it's LinkedIn. Maybe it's Instagram. This could be your marketing. And that's a powerful, powerful tool.